Hey guys, Rainbow Gymnast AG here, and today I have something that a lot of you have been asking for. Today I am going to be fixing up these three dolls. They are my friends. Say hi. Hi. That's my friend. And so I'm going to be fixing up her dolls. Two of them are hers, and one of them is her sister's. So this one is her sister's. This is Molly. This one is hers. This is Kanani. And this one's Kit's, which is also my friend's. I do not take care of their hair that well. Yeah, she doesn't take care of their hair that well, but... I'm sure after well, this it'll be how. much easier to manage. I can show you later. Alright, so, <laughs> moving on. Alright, so today I'm going to be cleaning their skin, I'm going to be fixing their hair, and I haven't tested their limbs, but if their limbs are bad, then I might be doing their limbs. But other than that, I think that's about it. So I will let you know if the plans change. Okay guys, so to start off, I just put her in the hospital gown, and I am going to just brush it through before I wash it because I don't want it to be all tangly while I wash it and stuff. So, sorry for that clicking noise. My friend is playing with my doll's lawn chair. Woohoo! She's very entertained by it. Anyway, so, I'm just going to be brushing it out and spitzing it before I wash it, because I don't want it to be all tangled. I think it'll wash better that way. So, yeah. And after I wash her hair, then I will be cleaning their skin. But I'm going to clean their skin all at once. So I'll show you guys that process too, but for now I'm just going to show you guys me brushing out her hair and spritching it down and stuff. Okay guys, so I'm going to be washing Kit's hair, and I'm just going to be using hydration hydrating shampoo by Berkeley and Jensen. I just use what I have around. And then I'm also, for conditioner, going to be using Suave Professional Sleek Conditioner. I've never had a problem. I've used all different types, and it's it's never had an issue. Like, I've never had an issue with it. So, yeah, so now I'm just going to be washing and conditioning her hair, and then I will brush it out and let it dry after. And when you're washing their hair, you just want to make sure you have lukewarm slash medium water because if it's too hot it won't be good for their hair it'll like start to melt it and so you just want to make sure it's not too hot but not too cold either Okay guys, so I'm rinsing this out right now, and I'm going to speed this part up so I don't bore you guys to death. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so after you have the shampoo completely rinsed out, then you just want to take your conditioner, and because she needs it, I'm just going to use a little bit more. So I'm going to use about that much conditioner on her hair just because I really think it needs it. It's really dry and cracked and, you know. So I'm going to do my best to try and make it, like, new. I mean, it's obviously never going to get perfect again, I guess you could say, but I'm going to do my best to get it as close as possible to perfect. Okay guys, so I've let it sit in her hair, and now I'm just going to rinse it out.
Okay guys, so Kit is looking a lot better. Her hair has been washed and it's a lot softer and a lot shinier. Now I'm just going to sit her in my doll hair salon chair to let her hair dry. And I will show you what it looks like when it's mostly dry. Okay guys, so here is Molly. Molly. Sorry guys, I have a cold like I said in my last video. Um, But, so right now we're going to be fixing Molly. I'm just going to be washing and conditioning her hair. But because we don't know what her sister wants, we're not going to straighten it. We're just going to wash and condition it and brush it out and try to make it look as best as we can. So I will show you guys when we are washing and conditioning it. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to be washing Molly's hair and I am just going to be doing the same thing, just using my shampoo right here and the same conditioner, the Suave's Professionals Sleek Conditioner. Okay guys, sorry I had to brush it out a little bit more because it wasn't as brushed out as I thought it should be because, you know, I'm OCD about doll hair. Anyways, so now I am really going to wash and condition it. Okay, so now that I have washed out her hair and rinsed it, I am just going to take my conditioner and put it in her hair and let it sit for a little while, but not too long, because she doesn't need it as much as Kit did. Okay, so I have let her hair set for a little while now, so now I am just going to rinse it out. Okay, so now that I have her hair rinsed out, I'm just going to brush it out and let it dry. Again, just have her sitting in my doll salon chair. And next, we will be moving on to Kanani. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, now I'm going to be washing Kanani's hair, and I'm also going to be straightening it afterwards. But for now, I'm just going to wash and condition it, and then I will show you what it looks like after that, and then I will be straightening it. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so now I am just going to take my conditioner and I'm going to use quite a lot just because it really needs it and just because she has so much hair. And now I'm just going to apply it to her hair and let it sit. I'm going to let it sit longer than I did for Kits just because she is in dire, dire need of the conditioning. So just lather it in her hair again. Make sure to cover all the necessary areas and then just let it sit for however long you think it's going to be. Um, for me, I'm probably just going to let her sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be using my magic eraser to clean Kit's skin. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you that that is after just her arms. I just finished her arms and that's how dirty it is already. I thought that was pretty gross, but I just am terrified to see what it's going to look like when I've done her legs and her body because... <laughs> or her legs and her face because if that's after two yar two arms, yikes, it's going to be it's going to be very dirty. It's going to be kind of black.
Okay, guys, so she is nice and clean now, and the dramatic, it is very dramatic, the changes that she has gone through today. She looks so much better, and yeah. So that's Kit, and she's almost done. Her hair just needs to dry a bit more, so yeah. Okay, guys, so that is the sponge after Kit, and just Kit alone is really really nasty so we're getting ready to do molly now but i'm going to wash it out first okay guys so this is what the sponge looks like before we do molly and i will show you what it looks like after we do molly Okay guys, so this is what the magic eraser looks like after Molly, and she is a bit newer than Kit was, so I think that's why it's not as dirty. So Molly's makeover is complete, again we still have to just wait on her hair to dry, but other than that, she is done, and her hair is brushable and nice and pretty. So yeah, now I'm going to be going back to Kanani and rinsing out her hair and straightening it. All right guys, so sorry for the crinkling in the background. My friend is eating Wavy Lay's chips. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to rinse out Kanani's hair. Okay guys, so now I am going to be straightening Kanani's hair, and I will be using the Infinity Eye Pro by Conair, but it is a really high heat, so I don't recommend just going out to buy it for this project because it is also very expensive. So to start off, what you're going to do is just hit, hit power, obviously, and turn it up to whatever temperature. But because this goes up to 455 degrees, that's way too high for doll hair, so I just put it on power, and it heats it up just enough to straighten doll hair. So, as you can see, I think it's on power. And so I have to get my clip, and then I will show you what to do from there. Okay, so you're going to take a claw clip, a big claw clip, and you're just going to divide the sections of her hair by the layers of her wig. So I'm just going to start off with that. Now I'm just going to twist it and I just flicked some water in my eye and I'm just going to twist it up in a little bun type thing and clip it. Eh. Alright, I hope that holds. Okay, so now I'm just going to brush it through like so and take my flat iron and straighten your hair and you, won't, you really want to make sure when you're using a flat iron on doll's hair that it that their hair is wet otherwise it will melt their hair but I just washed and conditioned Kanani's hair as you guys saw so it's okay because it's still really wet So I have to turn it back on now. And I'm going to refill my spritzer really quickly. Because I want to make sure that it's really wet while I'm straightening because I don't want it to ruin her hair. So I just filled her I just filled the spritzer with water. And I'm just going to take the spritzer and spray it down. Nice and wet again. Take the brush and brush it through. Now you're just going to take your flat iron and it's supposed to make that sizzling noise, guys. It's okay. And just straighten it. Then once it's straight, you're just going to brush it through. 
and just do this as many times as you need to until it's as straight as you want it to be. In this case I'm trying to make it pin straight. So I'm going to go over it a few more times. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be cleaning Kanani's skin, and that's my friend being a weirdo. Anyway, so yeah, so now I am going to be cleaning Kanani's skin. Okay guys, so that is the eraser after Kanani. Kanani was the cleanest of all the dolls. And so there's her lovely new hair too. It's a lot softer and a lot shinier. And it's actually brushable. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. So I will show you guys all of the dolls all together at the end, maybe. I don't know if we're going to have time because my friend has to leave soon. But so yeah, that's completed Kanani. Okay guys, so really quickly I just thought I would show you guys the finished products. So, this is Molly. She looks really good. We got all the marks off her. She's nice and clean now. And there's her hair. Her sister didn't want us to straighten it, but it's a lot softer and you can actually run a brush through it now. So, yeah. So that's Molly. Now for Kanani, who had the biggest change. Um, her hair is like that now. It's really straight and really shiny and really soft. And there's her face. Arms, legs, and her other arm. So that's what she looks like. And now on to Kit, who has a crazy hair doing right now. So here's Kit. It's a lot softer and a lot shinier. And we got a bunch of marks off her face. Her face is a lot cleaner, and so is her body. That pen mark did not end up coming off, but there was another one on the back of her leg that was lighter that did come off. And, yeah, so those are the finished products. And I think they turned out really well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Bye!